Hello viewers, question number 5, Wasi 2023, September core mathematics question paper, the subjective aspect. So the mean of a second year class is 18 whole number 2 out of 5. So at the end of the promotion examination, 3 students age 20, 19 and 19 Yes, were repeated. So three of them were repeated. So the new mean of the class becomes 18 whole number, one out of three. It means the three people that are repeated are not part of the, the new class now. All right. So calculate the number of students who were in the class before the promotion. So you're referring to the number of students that were there in order to give a mean of this. All right, now in, for a revision sake, we know that to find the mean, it is the sigma x over n, as in adding all the values that you were given, divided by a word, the number of entries, the sum of all the values. So in this case, we can find the sum of ages that is giving us the mean to be this. And how do we get that? We know that if I cross multiply, the sum of all the ages will just be the mean times what? The number of entries. So now that this is out of the way, we can apply it here. First of all, indicating the mean, which is our first part. So we know the mean is going to be 5 times 18 plus 2. That will be 92 divided by 5. So the mean is known. The number of students is not known. But we can easily find the sum by the product of the two. So let us see. That's why we, the number of students. In this case, that were in the class before the promotion. So now I can be able to find the sum of ages. Yeah. So sum of ages of Y student. We don't know how many they are. They are Y students. And that is going to be equals to the value of the mean times the number. It's going to be 92 out of 5 times Y. So the sum of the ages before the promotion is this, right? All right. The next thing to do is to be able to find the sum of ages of the, the student after promotion. How do we find that? We can find that by taking away the three people that have been repeated. Do we get it? If you want to find the sum of ages after the promotion, these three students were repeated. So their sum of ages will be subtracted. So I will say that sum of ages of student after promotion, that is also going to mean that I will have my 92 out of 5y minus the addition of all of them. That will be 20, 19, 19. So in this case, we can be able to have our 92 on 5y. I think this will be uh, 58. So we can't do anything. This is the sum of the ages after the promotion. All right. You know that after promotion, the number of students will also decrease. Decrease by what? Three of them. So number of students after promotion. After promotion, is also going to mean that y minus 3, right? Then mean after promotion is also reduced to this, which is going to be 18 times 3 plus 1. And that will also give us 55 out of 3. So all the information we need now has been labeled for us. 
Therefore, with the formula mean equals to the sum of ages over number of ages, whereby the mean has been given. So, 55 out of 3 equals to sum of ages, which is going to be this. 92 out of 5 minus 58 divided by number of students, which will be y minus 3. Don't forget, we are doing all this after the promotion. So after the promotion, the number of students decreases. The sum of numbers also of ages also decreases. Hence, the, the mean also decreases. So now we are going to treat this as one term, the numerator, denominator. Taking this as the LCM, multiplying the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So when this multiply here, it will cancel. But this must have y since that is 92 y over 5 minus 58, which is on the top. So this is going to be the numerator. This will be your denominator. So let's multiply. You have 55 divided by 3 y minus 3. As in, if this comes, it will multiply the whole of this. And that will give you 92 over 5 y minus 58. That is the denominator doing the multiplication. The numerator stays. And if it stays, it becomes a linear equation that involves a fraction. Look out for the LCM of the denominators. That will be 15. Therefore, I will have 15 times 55 out of 3. Y minus 3 equals to 15. 92 out of 5 Y. 58 times 15. I believe 3 will go into itself 1. Go here 5. 5 times 55. 275. Y in this case. Alright. This will also go here 3. Then 3 times 92. That gave us 276. Then Y will be included. Minus 58 times 15. That will be 870. Don't forget we use the 15 to multiply here once. And multiply twice. Because these are two terms. This is just one term because of the bracket. So now let's expand here to have 275y minus 275 times 3. That would be 825. We still have our 276y, 870 out there. I can see grouping of like terms. So we can decide to bring this here. And sign this there since this is bigger than this. So what I mean is that we maintain negative 825. We bring the negative to become positive 870. We maintain our 276y. Bring the positive to become negative 275y. So it means since this is less than this, there will be a subtraction. So that is going to be... 45 equals to y. Don't forget, this is 276, 275. So only y. Now, y is what we use in the beginning to refer to the number of students who are in the class before the promotion. And before the promotion, there were 45 students. So if you want to find after promotion, you only subtract the the three where is it so after the three from 45 you get your 42 i believe looking at it the concept of uh the arithmetic mean is what is uh, employed here and i believe i was able to explain to your understanding if yes like the video comment on it share with somebody else to also benefit Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.